Here's your daily Islanders prospect update for July 21st. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss a video. Also, head over to Twitter and follow at TLO Mitch. That's me. Don't miss any breaking information on Islanders prospects that I've yet to cover on the channel. There was hockey for a second day in a row yesterday, but there wasn't an Islanders prospect playing. So why am I talking, right? Well, because he was left off of the team that did play. So two days ago, Finland played their first of a series of friendlies before they head over to the United States to play in the Summer Showcase. Matthias Rayanemi played in the top four for Finland that day. Yesterday, Finland played again, the U-20 squad. This time, they played against the Czech Republic, and Matthias did not play. Now, that might be a cause for concern for some people. I'm not concerned in the slightest. It means nothing. It's two games in two days after they haven't played for a while now. This is all about conditioning, and it's also all about Auntie Pennant and looking at all of his options, right? Not everyone played yesterday. I'm just looking over the list here, and not there's a lot of missing players that he rested for that game against the Czech Republic. So while Matthias Ryanemi did not play, that doesn't mean he won't factor into the top four as we've already established, not only ourselves, but just speaking to the coach himself, right? Like go back to the chat I had with him a couple of days ago, and he said for sure top four, at least at the summer showcase, and for sure top six, maybe even top four when it comes to the World Junior Championships in January, which is a long time away. So there's no worry here that because Matthias Ryanemi did not play yesterday, that he's fallen out of favor. He had a bad game and it's not going to happen. Oh my God. No, he's going to play. He's going to be at the very least in the top six come the World Juniors, but certainly top four when they go to the United States in a couple of days. Like It's pretty soon that they head over to the U.S. for the Summer Showcase against the U.S. national team and the Swedish national team where other Islander prospect Alexander Ljungkrantz would all, will also be playing. So there's no cause for concern here that Matthias Ryanemi did not play. Now, Finland still won the game 3-1. And uh, prospect that I'm watching, Samuel Hellenius, put up another point. Hey, hurrah. He put up a primary helper in the empty net goal for the 3-1 winner. Uh, I believe Atu Ratti also put up a point. I'm looking at the game score here. Yes, uh, he had a secondary assist in the second period goals to go 2-1 uh, up. So in the game winner, I guess, um, with Samuel Koskela's goal. So Ratti's still putting up a point. And the reason I bring up both is because... Um, Antti Peninen really differentiated Samuel Hellenius and Atu Ratti specifically. And then that's why I'm following them around. They're in the same draft class, but uh, Ratti is supposed to go in the first round, while Hellenius is supposed to go in the second round. But honestly, like, like Peninen said, there's something to like in Hellenius that he may even be better than Atu Ratti. So something to look at for the Islanders, who could very well reach for... Uh, Samuel, not reach, sorry, could end up getting Samuel Hellenius, who's supposed to go somewhere between 43 and 70. He should very well go in the second round. How late? We'll see. So thank you for subscribing. There might not be an update tomorrow because there's no actual hockey today for an Islanders prospect. But if something happens, probably because of the Seattle expansion draft, I might have another video, at least in terms of daily. I'll probably have another one anyways. So thank you for subscribing. I will talk to you later.